Well, hi, YouTubers. I'm Grandma Nan. That's Nanette, your social, philosophical, poetic commentator. I'm 74. I'm a medical marijuana patient, and I'm dying, uh, just like all of us. Uh, I might be dying sooner than I want to die, but isn't that just like all of us? Uh, I'm dying of peck. Uh, what are you dying of? I bet you're dying of the same thing I'm dying of, peck a pre-existing condition. How about sugar poisoning when we were babies? <laughs> That's a pre-existing condition and uh, we've all got it, huh? So, uh, getting on with it, uh, we're talking about uh, for adults only here because we're talking dispensaries and in the state of Hawaii on the big island of Hawaii in the little tiny town of Hilo uh, the only dispensary uh, oh, the cops busted it last Wednesday it was so sad because uh, there's even a bill up in Congress now to allow dispensaries and the dispensary people have been trying so hard to let it happen so it's just a shame uh, that uh, our only dispensary was busted I didn't even know we had one so I missed out I, I didn't get to go down and see what they had uh, I didn't know that was what was going on there. Uh, it is a church, which is different than you'd expect it to be in a doctor's office, uh, you know, or a clinic, uh, like the alternative clinic of health foods and uh, that sort of thing, not uh, not in a church, so to speak. And, of course, it wasn't a church. It was like downtown and upstairs of the retail businesses. They weren't really too happy about its location. So that had something to do with it, I'm sure. But the idea that five federal departments of the United States government, five, came to see him. They were looking for records. They were looking for money. They were looking for any ill-gotten they could get. And we have no idea what they took because then they put a, a damper on the details. So John Burnett, as hard as he tried to tell us, uh, didn't get to tell us much. So. With that in mind, we start the numbers late again, but I wanted to go back to 19, uh, 2004 when I wrote about this very subject. What are we going to do when the time comes uh, to, uh, to take care of the growing part, of the distribution part? Uh, so I want to, but if, let me just take a quick hit here because I can. And I'll show you uh, what I'm doing here. A quick uh, little bud piece I'm going to stick in here. And I always pinch as I take it off. I pinch it to make sure there isn't any seeds. You don't want to put your seed, a seed uh, in your pipe because uh, uh, it could pop and get you in the eye. So uh, you don't want to, uh, to put any seeds in there. So I always pinch. there now that should hold me for a little while because I've got something so important to say I'm gonna put these things out of the way oh wait one more hit oh that was so good Okay, so I want to read to you uh, the other thing I wrote in 2004. Put it in my book, Pot Smoking for the Elderly. This is my book, Thicker Than Hell, huh? Pot Smoking for the Elderly. I only made about, what was it, 36 of these, and then I couldn't see any more to do it. So it's all been just put on hold. But here we go, three, four pages. This is very important, so please try and listen. I'm going to read it real fast because the time is short. Uh, there ought to be a law. The question of the day is, 
do we, that is the United States government, decriminalize, legalize, tax, and regulate marijuana like tobacco and alcohol, both plant products, giving some of the profits to the tobacco growers who need to recover from the bad reputation that tobacco now has, and alcohol will have for the grain and hops growers as we, that is the United States government, hit the sugar industry coming up in the near future as poisoners of our children? Or do we, that is, the United States government, allow the pharmaceutical companies to control this market with or without the health care insurance companies who are the latest in control freaks? Our United States drug makers will probably hire other countries to grow the marijuana and turn bad weed into pills without a high. Somehow the federal government thinks if people are enjoying the drug, whatever it be, then the federal government has lost control. So our federal government says enjoyment must be ruled out in the name of control. Won't be long and all the little old ladies looking for a good high to get a good laugh after suffering, suffering the indignities of having a tit cut off, having her hair fall out, and having to sell everything she loved to pay for a body that will never be the same. We'll be looking for their local grower. The little old lady deserves a good laugh as only a corn cob pipe and a bud the size of her baby fingernail can give her. She's dying of cancer and we should worry about her possible addiction to the drug. What should the local grower do for all those little old ladies who need a supply of medical marijuana? These little old ladies are in every state in the United States. Do you know a state whose people do not die of cancer? Where does this leave the little old lady who just wants to grow her own? To my dear little lawmakers, I want to say, I know you want to write new laws and you would make my day, and, and many others like me, if you please would really think, will you research the latest? Time is like a blink. About my little old lady neighbors, in her yard she grows her plants, on her wall she has her license, on her table she's got her grant. But what about the kid next door? He sees only a plant, like a big wad of money. He doesn't care about her grant. Now the kid next door is overwhelmed by the smoke. Pacalolo is psychedelic, but it never killed a bloke. Well, I worry about my neighbor. The trauma when the plant is gone, tobacco fields are ready to grow pot. Temptation to the kid would be gone. And my little old lady neighbor without any hair could put on her hat and take her card and go to the old lady's fair to buy what drugs she needs. Let's line the drugs up to be fair, a barter price for each little joint, and then she won't even care that she tempted all her neighbors by putting her gold in the sun. She made criminals out of nice kids while she ties up her hair in a bun. You see, she has fully recovered. She doesn't need drugs anymore, but the kid that was caught by the drug doesn't get A's like before. The law could step in and punish the kid. One mistake could ruin his life. The little old lady just didn't think. She'd never cause all that strife. So think with me, all you lawmakers. Think of the laws that you make. Are they really going to solve our problems? Or are you just frosting your goddamn cake? Huh? Ah, did I get it in there? With seconds to say love is the answer. Let's love those lawmakers to change the law. We gotta love the lawmakers to change the law. Well, let's just love them. Forget the religion. Forget the bullshit. Just love them. Like you would yourself, right? See ya.